I am sitting on the side of the road out of gas in the Corvair. So we got a call for a razor that's flipped and broke a wheel off out at Coral Peak Sand Dunes, so we're headed out there. We got Ed with us. Yeah, it's clear sky, no wind. It feels like 110, but it's only probably 95. And it's the first time we've been out with the Corvair in a recovery, and we'll get them out for sure. Howdy, howdy, let's get rowdy. First recovery for me and Lizzie and Ed in the Corvair. Yeah. We're excited. We're jumping off the ceiling. I wish we had the AC working, but it's not installed yet. So this call came in out to the Coral Pink Sand Dunes, and I know from past experience that it takes two Jeeps to get through the dunes. So I made possibly a bad call. I decided to take the Corvair because Rudy was running errands in St. George and he was about an hour out from getting back. So that meant we'd only have one Jeep. So I thought, let's baptize this Corvair by fire. Just throw it right in the deep end and see if it'll swim. So we're watching those close. A second access up north, up the road yeah. further, that's way shorter. Okay. Way we'll shorter. Up, I'll be up there at the meadow then. Yeah, we'll just pull up the road. Guess there's one tire left, I better take care of it. I did what six or eight yeah at least and then he was over there and so I climbed this side without checking the back which was a razor back on this side so when I launched over it the front end came down <laughs> on a razor back and sit on the flat yeah. and, and went over a couple tumbles three three times end over end well we're gonna go flip this over now it's, total, so have your way. <laughs> it's pretty wadded up Up here, yeah, once we got the air out of the tires. Yeah. All right, so 
Well, this is cooling down. I'm gonna pop the hood open. Not boiling over yet. What do you want to hook it with, Matt? Well, what do we got? Okay, Lizzie, just get up and grab that steering wheel. Trans is cooled down to 150 degrees and the uh, coolant temperature is 180 degrees. So we're back under control. Good job, Trevor. Out of gas just past the Smithsonian Butte turn off between there and uh, Cedar Point. How did that happen? Um, Trevor's never fixed the fuel gauge. <laughs> well, you'll never believe it, but I got a call from Matt. He's out of gas in the Corvair on one of its first recoveries, so now I've got to go rescue him on the side of the road. I was in the middle of my nap when I got the phone call because I had a pretty rough, pretty rough night. Anyway. You had your window up in this heat? I had it partially down. I just barely rolled it up. Yeah, I don't, I don't think 300 miles is accurate on that. How big a tank is that? 20, I said, I said 200. Oh, I heard three. Oh. <laughs> we gotta move this stuff? Yeah. Should have brought my chair and a drink. Yeah. Rescue. Yeah. We got extra backup. 
Yes. This is not an ideal way to put gas in a vehicle, but it's the way we do. Okay, Rudy. <laughs> this is quite the ordeal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that teamwork. Yeah. I don't have any gas, but I know where a station is. Do you have all these other tools that we desperately need to make this work? <laughs> no. An array of screwdrivers. A funnel. Usually we keep these in the intake. <laughs> Well, we got out there okay and let some air out of the tire and was able to go in that fine sand. It's as bad as Sand Hollow. And we found a vehicle, turned on its side. Mike got it tipped over. We got it loaded on. And then we needed a flower stack to get out of there. We, could, <laughs> we had a couple of heels, it was hard. And uh, we made it back okay. And uh, thanks for watching. And we sat on the road for about 40 minutes. We got them out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>